Oh shit, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I see. Hey, I see you made it back to the video. I appreciate you, gang. You feel me? I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying for rocking out with me and everything like that. You feel me? Like, you feel me? You got your wood together. You got your shot. Your little snack. Everything like that. Bet, bet, bet. Let's rock out there, my nigga. Let's rock out. Let's go. Bet, bet, bet. Let's rock out there, my nigga. Let's go. I know what the fuck going on, man. It's your boy, Big One. Look, we back with another video. So, let's check this out, man. We finna check out Lil Leaky, the Duval County Demon. The Duval County Demon. They label this nigga a demon. They said this nigga on that type of time. And this nigga trained to go. He TTG. I'm not saying he, he affiliated with TTG, but I'm saying, like, if you know what TTG really mean, it mean trained to go. You feel me? For the ones that's, you know what I'm saying, not so intelligent and smart up here in the head. But look, check this out, man. We finna react to Lil Leaky. I mean, Lil Leaky, the Duval County Demon. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know, that's that's in Florida. That's in Florida shit. Um, who Lil Leaky run with? Did he run with, uh... I don't know. I'm gonna just wait till the video watch and see, because I don't, don't want to playing with the wrong person you feel me because i don't really yeah you know what i'm saying but look before we hop in the video man if you're new to the channel go ahead and smash that subscribe button click that bell to be notified when i upload another video follow me on all my social media man link in the description is down below bro 2023 finna be a movie man we taking it out we finna skyrocket hey i'm telling y'all bro like i can't I, know, I can't make this up like you know what i'm saying like you feel me like that's just what it is bro stay tuned let's do it most rap fans know about Jacksonville because of the deadly war between Young and Ace and Fulio. But one of the most savage dudes in the city wasn't from either one of their gangs. Lil Leaky was affiliated with a crew called 1200. And before he was killed back in 2020, he was one of the scariest dudes in the streets who even got respect from the Ops. This is the wild story of Lil Leaky, the demon of Duval County. Lil Leaky was on the east side of Jacksonville and was from 1200. 1200 ain't the same as Young and Ace's ATK crew. But a lot of their members are homies, and they share some of the same ops, including Fulio and KTA. Leaky's brother, Lil Papa, has been beefing with Fulio for years, too. What the fuck? Hell no, nah, I ain't know that. I ain't know Lil Papa uh, was beefing with Fulio. Damn, see, that's why I said I don't be doing shit for real. Like, I just be in my own little shell, you feel me? But then again, that is like some Florida shit, so you probably gotta be on like some Florida music heavy. But damn, I ain't even know Lil Leaky was Poppy's brother. See, that's crazy. Lil Poppy, that's my nigga. They got them. My favorite song by him is Been Through with him and uh, Corner Rondo. No Debating. You feel me? No Debating. That's the song I'm going to play when I'm giving uh, my family. Uh, probably, it's probably going to be like five, ten thousand a piece with their own custom chain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On that thing. But hey, yeah, let's get back into it. They was cool back in the day. They had a falling out, but let's them throwing hands in the footlock. Damn. Lil Papa and Fulio made headlines for sending diss tracks back and forth. But what a lot of them don't know is that Leaky was one of Fulio's biggest ops. Fulio was always sending shots at him on social media. And in 2020, Leaky allegedly tried to... Ooh. Damn, Fulio? You let her get back up? You lost her? That bitch bad. You tripping, gang. I mean, he ain't my game, but <laughs> you tripping, folk. Boy, the shit she bad as fuck. Now, Fulio's girlfriend. On April 30th, 2020, Fulio's girlfriend, Bubin Baby, was going to the gas station with her friend. But they took Fulio's car instead of hers, and it almost got her killed. While they were stopped at an intersection, a shooter came by and started letting off shots. Bubin ducked down and tried to drive away while her friend was screaming in the passenger seat. But she ended up getting shot three times. One bullet grazed her head, another got stuck in her knee, and the third bullet took off one of her fingers. Damn. Leaky was allegedly the shooter, and his homie spinning bands this Fulio over the situation on the track. I'm doing this video. He said, this the mama got shot, and he's still tweaking. This got shot. Cool, I know she leaving. They shot that whole finger off. She couldn't even tweet it. Leaky never hopped <laughs> in a boot. No. I'm sorry, that ain't funny, but damn. They shot that whole finger off. Out of. And he's still tweaking. This Got shot. Who I know she leaving. They shot that whole finger off. She couldn't even tweet it. Leaky Bro, hey, we finna react to that. Spinner Benz. What did it say? Spinner Benz. Who? What's the name? Spinner Benz. I don't smoke Kendra. We gotta react that hard. This nigga mama got shot and he's still tweaking. This nigga bitch got shot. Cause I know she leaving. 
they shot that whole finger off. She couldn't even tweet it. But it's not funny, but it's like, damn, like, shit. I shot who I know she leaving. They shot that whole finger off. She couldn't even tweet it. Fuck. Mickey never hopped in a booth, but his homies from 1200, like Spin the Benz, Wapa with the Chopper, and J. Dot Breezy, all put on for the crew in the studio. Just a month after she allegedly hit up Fulio's girlfriend, rumors say Leaky killed a dude from Six Block named Petey, aka 35. On May 3rd, Petey and three other. Okay, now I remember uh, J. Dot talking about them on live one day when he was like, uh, Petey got his ass killed in a, in a, a car, car crash. I believe so. He said he was trying to spin, got that killed in a car crash, something like that. I'm chilling on the 2100 block of Brooklyn Road when someone hops out of a car and start letting off shots. Petey was hit multiple times and unfortunately died from his injuries. All of his homies got hit too, but all three of them survived. According to the cops, over 30 shots went off at the scene, and Leaky was allegedly the shooter. Not much is known about his early life, but Leaky allegedly started getting way more active in the streets when he saw his friend murder right in front of him back in 2019. In August 2019... I ain't gonna lie, they can fuck people up too. Like, if you see, you feel me, a relative or somebody close to you, a friend, whoever, like, die in front of you, like, that shit will fuck you up. Like, that shit gonna fuck with your head, like... Yeah, like, that's why, you feel me? Or if you get... If you fuck around and get shot too a couple times and to be on some serious shit like you almost dying type shit, that shit can fuck with you, bro. That shit gonna fuck with you, cuz. On everything. That shit gonna fuck with you all the way. One thou out. Leaky and his homie John were chilling on the 1200 block of Clark Street when someone in a white van pulled up and started letting off shots. Leaky was hit multiple times and had to be treated at the hospital, but John was tragically shot in the head and pronounced dead at the scene. Nobody was ever booked for the hit, but Leaky and John were allegedly targeted by somebody they had robbed a few days earlier. A few months after Petey was killed, a dude named Jump Out Squeeze dropped the track op shit and took more shots at Leaky, his homie John, and a bunch of other dudes from 1200. Jump Out had already been shot once and survived, but dropping a diss track in a wild city like Jacksonville is one of the most dangerous things you can do. Ten days after the track... Exactly, bro. Like, I don't know, niggas will be thinking. But damn, what was I finna say? So, Leaky, he was a real street nigga. Because you see all these niggas dissing him and shit, right? And he ain't never make no, uh... He ain't never dropping no music or nothing like that. Right? That's what dude just said, ain't he? He said he, he really want no music, but, uh... Walk with the chop, J. Dot Breeze and all them, they, they did the rapping shit. He was a real street nigga, okay. Now, okay, Jump okay. Out was standing outside an Amazon warehouse to apply for a job. It was 2 p.m. in broad daylight, but two shooters hopped out of a car and started dumping shots. Jump Out was killed at the scene. Damn, they talk about this. So, who, what rapper said this in their song? I don't know which one, but they said, uh, dude was out there applying for a job and got hit up. Damn, two this crazy. Two got hit, but survived. The cops said they had a bunch of eyewitnesses and surveillance cameras caught the car the shooters got away in, but nobody was ever arrested for his murder. Rumors say Leaky and his boy were the ones behind the hit, and his boy allegedly admitted to it on IG. Somebody on IG asked Leaky's homie what his favorite memory with Leaky was, and Leaky's homie responded by posting a video of Jump Out. There's no evidence to prove they were actually involved, but it looks like his boy's confirming the rumors. If all the rumors are true, Leaky was one of the most active dudes in the city, but it didn't take long for all the violence to catch up with him. And Leaky was unfortunately shot and killed in September 2020. Leaky, Spin the Benz, and a few other dudes were sitting in a car at the intersection of Atlantic Boulevard and Monument Road at around 1 in the morning. Leaky was allegedly driving high off a lean, and another car pulled up and started letting off shots. Leaky was rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries and died a few days later. When the cops pulled up to the scene, they found a car speeding off and chasing down. One of the dudes in the other car got shot, and the cops ended up arresting everyone in the whip. Rumors say Petey's brother Kurt took Leaky out as revenge for killing Petey, but it hasn't been confirmed. Nobody was ever charged for the hit, but Leaky's sister went on TikTok and said that Fulio was involved with his death. After Leaky died, all the ops started dissing him on tracks, especially Fulio. I was just about to say that, and they waited until he died to start dissing him. Of course, you know what I'm saying? Typical nigga, but... One thing about it, he was a real street nigga. This nigga, he didn't do music or none of that. He was straight in the street with it. On Rod K's track, All Gas, Julio said, shot my car off twice, then hit my Now Leaky, rest in peace. Julio also dropped the track, named after Leaky, and said, Honey K, he'll shake the room. Sleep is blocked, we don't need no groom. They asked me how high I am. I'm Leaky high, I'm to the moon. 
Fulio took the disrespect to the next level. When he got custom weed packs, made with Leaky's face on him. Taking Leaky out was a huge win for the Ops, but it allegedly led to them losing even more people. Oh, so God, like, Leaky come on, man. Drew from Six Block and passed two eggs, was shot and killed in the parking lot of the Hilltop Village Apartments. Then the next day, Rock K got chipped in the same spot. It's not clear who took him out, but Wapa with the chopper hop on IG and wrote, you can talk about Leaky all day, but not your dogs who got smoked after him. And on the track, I don't smoke Kendra, Spin a band said, Rock K died, he was spinning. Guess he freezed up. His last words, cool. The last thing he seen was us. And Spaz Suex got dropped. How he do that? Scrolling through his phone in Hilltop. Thought you knew that. Leaky was apparently really going at his ops net. I'm gonna have to react to that song, bro. I'm gonna have to react to that song. It, that, it sounded like that nigga was spinning his shit on there. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to react to it, bro. No so, track alone. Spinning a band shot on the mountain said, The feel shit real. This shit out here ain't for everybody. Not kill, kill, kill. I swear these niggas ain't caught nobody. And know it's Leaky this and Leaky that. But if Leaky was here, he'll blow them down. And they don't mention that. Last year, Lil Uzi verse artist Lotto Cash Desto hopped on the track Pop Out with Fulio and said, I'm a Fulio. He got me smoking on Leaky. In September. And that's when they, she got a stupid ass killed. Dummy. Dummy. You from fucking Memphis. Signed to Lil Uzi Vert. Why the fuck is you? I mean, it's straight you did a feature with Fulio, but why the fuck is you talking about some goddamn trying to get in some Florida beef shit? You feel me? They just like on some shit like. If I start rapping and me and Young and link up and then I start dissing all Fulio dead people. No, don't know these niggas. Never met these niggas. And I start dissing them. Like, what the fuck? That... Come on, man. Driving to Houston. When two dudes walked up, started letting off shots. Desto shot back and hit one of them in the stomach. But unfortunately, they caught her in the head and she died at the scene. There's no evidence tying anyone from Jacksonville to the hit. But after she died, J. Dot Breezy hopped on IG and wrote, Now you dead. Wasn't even in your hometown. Should have acted like the gender you are. But you wanted to act like a nigga. Now look at you. Fitted casket. Even though he's losing homies to the beef, Julio is still taking shots at Leaky and his family. Back in May, Leaky's cousin, Lil Kobe, was shot outside of his school. He was walking with some homies, but somebody pulled up and started letting off shots. Then everyone started running away screaming. Kobe ran back inside for help, and luckily he survived after he got taken to the hospital. A few months later, Fulio hopped on IG and wrote, How low Kobe still alive? He got a mad kid with laughing emojis. Losing Leaky was a huge blow to 1200, and now they're facing another loss if Spin and Benz loses his gun case. He got the charge after the police pulled him and his girlfriend over and found a clock in the car. The gun was registered in his girl's name, but the prosecutors are trying to prove that she actually bought it for him and that his DNA was on the gun. Spinning Benz is facing possession of a firearm by a gang-related felon, which makes the case even worse for him. Without the gang enhancement on the charge, he'd be facing 30 years. But now if he gets convicted, they could put him away for life. At this point, the war in Jacksonville has become one of the deadliest Damn, beasts. Damn, wait, so Spinning Benz locked up? When the fuck that happened? So the man's look different as fuck now too. Like the nigga tall or something. Face possession of a firearm by a gang-related felon, which makes the case even worse for him. Without the gang enhancement. Hold on, let me see. When the nigga. Excuse me. His girlfriend over and found a clock in the car. The gun was registered in his girl's name, but the prosecutors are trying to. Friend over and found a clock in the car. The gun was registered in his girl's name, but the prosecutors are trying to prove that she actually bought it for him and that his DNA was on the gun. Spinning Benz is facing possession of a firearm by a gang-related felon, which makes the case even worse for him. Without the gang enhancement on the charge, he'd be facing 30 years. But now if he gets convicted, they could put him away for life. At this point... Damn, this bullshit. How the fuck they gonna say... Damn, that's fucked up. The war in Jacksonville has become one of the deadliest beefs in rap history. There's a lot of crews involved, but even the ones who don't catch as many headlines as ATK and KTA are out there catching bodies and losing members. Hopefully, at some point, the situation can finally cool off and people will stop losing ice. their lives. But it'll be hard for anyone to move on after so much blood has been spilled on all sides. Rest in peace to Leaky and everyone else who lost their lives. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, nah, I ain't gonna say it. I ain't, but y'all probably know what I was finna say. 
I ain't gonna say it though, cause I don't wish death on nobody. But if I ain't gonna lie, if Leaky was still alive, bro, uh, this should do it again. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine. Bro, shut the fuck up. Uh, if Leaky was still alive, I ain't no shit. Fulio have a whole lot of goddamn trouble on his hand, cause <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I mean, just being a honey, cause it seems like that nigga was a real deal step in the streets. <clears throat> yeah, it seemed like he was a real good step in the streets, man. But, hey, y'all coming down below, let me know what y'all think. And let me know if uh, Spinner Ben's still locked up. I I'm still finna react to that song, though. I gotta listen to it. Uh, what it's called, Keandre? Or something like that. I still gotta listen to it, because, damn. They was talking like he got them. You feel me? Talk to this shit. It might be an old song, but I never heard it. So, it's still gonna be my reaction, you know what I'm saying? If you don't like it, don't watch this shit. But, hey... That's it for this video, man. If you're new to the channel, go to smash the subscribe button. Click the bell to be notified when I all on the video. Follow me on all my social media, man. It's in the description down below. I told y'all, 2023, man, we finna go crazy. We finna take off. Hey, we finna shoot like a rocket, man. See y'all. Stay tuned. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Gang.